Hello friends, so today we will see how we can install Jenkins on Linux machine. So I have created one Linux machine on one of my VM on Azure, so it is ready. So in order to install uh, Jenkins on a uh, Linux machine, we need to just go to uh, the Jenkins documentation and here we can go to installing Jenkins and the Linux. There we can go for, we are using Debian Ubuntu, so we'll use these instructions in order to get it installed. I'll place this link of uh, Jenkins in the description so you can take it from there. So we'll go with the long term support release. So these are basically the instruction to install Jenkins but there is one prerequisite whenever you install Jenkins then you need to install Java also. So if you scroll down then here is an instruction for installing Java. So I have placed all these instructions in one of the notepad. So step one is install Java and then we'll install Jenkins. So now let's go and start installing Jenkins. So this is our virtual machine. So I'll do step by step installation of the steps. Okay, so now we will do with the second instruction to install JRE. Okay, so JR is installed now. Next, we can go for installing Jenkins. So we need to execute these steps. Now we need to update. Okay. Now finally we need to run the final command of installing Jenkins. So as we can see Jenkins installation is complete, we can search uh, by using the systemctl status Jenkins command. So it's active and running. So we can see from here that it is starting our Jenkins uh, continuous integration server. So our Jenkins is up and running. Now we can uh, get it, uh, check whether it is up and running or not. So we'll go to our virtual machine and here We can go for public IP. We can place this public IP. Here to check whether the Jenkins is running or not. So basically it is searching. So means our Jenkins is not up and running. So what one thing we haven't done yet, we need to enable one port so that Jenkins is getting accessible. So what we'll do on our JVM, we'll go to networking and here we need to add an inbound port. So basically port 8080 is required in order to get it accessible. So we'll open this port 
by keeping all option as it is okay so if we can refresh this page we can see now port number 88 is enabled so we'll again give a try to access that Jenkins As you can see now Jenkins space is loading so we are done but it not yet done we need to use this instruction in order to get the password initial password required to make it enable So now we need to install all the suggested plugins so we just need to click on suggested plugin and this will take some time so let all these plugins get installed some of the plugins are installed and rest are in progress so we need to wait until all the plugins are getting installed so now we can see most of the plugins are getting installed one last plugin is getting installing So yes all plugins are now installed so we can create a any username and password that you want to make it as admin so password you can give of your choice You can give any email address. Okay, so now you are inside your admin console. So Jenkins installation is complete. If you want to check your login, so just log it out and just place the username and password that you have created. So yes, so in this way we can install Jenkins on Linux machine and we can do all testing and whatever uh, things you want to do with Jenkins you can do in this way.